So ever since they added the Sulbeck specific acid shells augment into the game, I've always had this idea of making a ridiculous build that would clear entire tile sets full of enemies with just a handful of shots. And while I was able to make it work in low level content, I never managed to get enough scaling for it to work in high level content. Until today. So here's the build and don't worry if you don't have a ribbon by the way, you can simply replace the ribbon with a faction mod and it's going to be fine. Now I know the build might look a bit strange, but trust me on this one. Okay, we start off with Toxic Barrage and Chilling Reload, which gives us vital reload speed and a bit of status. We have Galvanized Health for multi-shot and Galvanized AV for status chance and extra damage. After this, we invest heavily into electricity with Prime Charge Shell and in my case, the Riven, which gives status chance and electricity damage. If you don't have a Riven, once again, simply use the appropriate faction mod. And then we top it all off with number one, Scattering Justice for status chance and the justice effect for a bit of extra AoE, as well as Acid Shells. Now, if you're not familiar with Acid Shells, it causes a 15 meter explosion whenever you kill something that does 450 base corrosive damage, as well as 45% of the killed enemy's maximum health as blast damage. The best thing about this mod is that it can trigger itself, so if you kill an enemy with a shot and they explode, and another enemy dies from the explosion, they will also explode. And to top it all off, I have no Exodus mod here because they're not all that useful, you can run Galvanize Acceleration if you want to invest more Forma into it, and I'm running Primary Merciless for extra damage of course. Now originally I just made this build to faff around with the Infested. But it's actually not half bad against the Corpus either. The problematic faction for this build are the Grenier because their armor simply negates far too much of the damage we do. But that's only if we're talking about heavy Grenier units that are level 100 and above. If you just use this on the regular star chart or even in sorties, it's going to be just fine. Though with that said, it's actually not terrible even in Steel Path because you have a nice mixture of units, some of which are a little bit squishier and you can use them to deal extra damage via Acid Shells. The chaining explosions you can get with this build are so ridiculous if you're doing something with high density like Infested Steel Path, that it seems like sometimes the game has a hard time handling them, like I've had the audio cut out on me for a brief moment multiple times, I can sometimes experience severe frame drops when I pull the trigger in a very crowded room, especially if the explosions chain into other rooms and blow those up as well, which will happen fairly often because the radius on them is 15 meters, and I've even experienced a strange like visual glitch where the game would go really dark for a handful of frames until the explosion sort of did its thing. Though I can't say for sure that it's the game having issues with the explosions because it could just be my PC catching on fire. But that doesn't matter. What does matter is this setup is really really fun in missions that have extraordinarily high enemy density, like Infested Steel Path, because the explosions can go absolutely haywire. So I would highly recommend you give this setup a shot because it is very fun and it's surprisingly effective at clearing the steel path when it comes to the Infested and the Corpus. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it against the Grenier though. But anyway, that's it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching. As always guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful and you will give this setup a shot and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.